Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these super cute Sailor Moon themed cupcake toppers, so let's get right into it. I need to start by making some bases for my cupcake toppers, so I'm rolling out some light pink fondant and then using my cutter, I'm cutting out some circles. And I have a bench scraper that I'm just using to mark some squares in. If you have an embosser, you can go ahead and use that. I just eyeballed the lines and then went over with my fondant tool just to make them a little more clear. Using that same fondant tool, I'm marking in some lines on the corners where all the squares meet. This kind of gives it like a quilted almost effect, but overall I'm just going for some texture. And then as a final step for these, I'm indenting a little circle where all the squares meet in the corner. For Luna's face, I'm using some purple fondant that I've rolled out and I have this little template here that I've linked below. So I'm just cutting that out with my X-Acto knife and then I did the exact same thing using some white fondant for Artemis's face. For all of the Sailor Scouts, I just cut out white circles of fondant and then I set all of my bases aside and I wanted those to be nice and firm before I started decorating them. Once they had sat for a couple of hours, they were good to go. So I'm going to be starting out with Serena slash Sailor Moon's outfit. I have some royal blue fondant that I'm rolling out and then using the same size cutter that I used for all my bases, I'm punching out a circle of that and then I'm trimming that away to create this kind of V shape for her, I want to say bandana, but cape thing. I'm not really sure what you would call it, but it's the blue part of her uniform. Once that was cut out, I just attached it with a little bit of water to one of my white bases. With some white fondant, I rolled that out really thin and then added two stripes on either side and then just had those meeting in the middle. For her big bow, I have some red fondant that I'm rolling out and then cutting away a strip. And in the middle of that strip, I'm just taking out a little notch on either side. I brought either end into the middle and just pinched them together. I didn't need any water to hold it in place, but if you do, you can totally just dab some on there. With more of my red fondant, I cut out these two little rectangle shapes and placed those down into the center of her cape thingy and then I placed her big red bow right on top of that, just being sure to cover the tips of those tails. I have another long, thin strip of red fondant, and I'm placing that down on the very top of my white base in this kind of crescent moon shape, and that is going to be the band that wraps around her neck. With some yellow fondant, I'm rolling out a ball and then just placing that into the center of the bow and just patting that down. And then with another smaller piece of yellow fondant, I'm just smushing that against my work surface and using a piping tip to cut out a crescent moon shape that's going to go in the center of her red collar. To finish off her uniform, I'm adding a little dot of pink fondant in the center of her bow and then another smaller little yellow crescent moon underneath that. I basically did the exact same thing for the other scouts that I made. I chose just to do the core scouts, including Rini, and then just match the colors and I will put a picture that I used for my reference below. To make Luna, I used my template as a guide. I picked out some piping tips that were roughly the right sizes for all the circles that made up her eye. And her eyes are a little more oval than round, so I just used my fingers to kind of elongate them a little bit. I grabbed my template and placed it over Luna's face and using my fondant tool, I just marked in where the eyes 
needed to sit before I started to place them down and I used just a little bit of water to attach everything. I added a little oval of light pink fondant for her nose and then I cut out this triangle shape and then just cut off the very tip of that and rounded it out a little bit with my X-Acto knife and I placed that down for her mouth. I cut out two pink triangles that went inside of her ears and then just the same way that I made the crescent moon for Serena's outfit, I squished down some yellow fondant and then using some piping tips just created this little crescent moon that's going to go right smack dab on Luna's forehead. I followed the exact same steps to make Artemis' face. I just used the white base that I had and then instead of red eyes, he has blue eyes. To make Tuxedo Mask, I started out with a white base and then I cut out the same size circle of black fondant and placed that over top and then just cut out a little triangular notch in the top of that. With more of my black fondant, I cut out the shape for his lapel and then just place those on either side of my little white triangle. With a strip of black fondant, I grabbed a piping tip and just cut off either end and rounded those out a bit with my fingers. And then I trimmed them down to size and they're gonna go on either side of the top of his lapel. And this is just the little piece where his cape attaches to his body. For the buttons on his tuxedo, I just rolled out some yellow fondant and then put those on either side of where his cape attaches and then a couple buttons down his front as well. For his bow tie, I shaped two balls of white fondant into these little triangles and then just a little ball for the center and cut out two smaller white triangles in the similar shape of his lapel and place those down and those are gonna be his collar. Tuxedo mask of course needs a rose. So with a little rope of green fondant, I placed that down and then I cut up a long strip of red fondant and basically just rolled that up. This is a really basic, easy rose, but it gets the job done. As a final touch, I rolled out some white fondant and then cut out two triangle shapes and then traced around those to create his mask. For Sailor Moon's crescent wand, moon stick, I've seen lots of different descriptions for this, whatever you wanna call it. Again, I made a larger crescent moon using some piping tips and then I just added a little strip of pink fondant below that. And then I added a little ball of pink fondant in the middle of that crescent moon for where the crystal would sit. And with more of my yellow fondant, I created the base of the handle as well as kind of smushed down a piece of yellow fondant right underneath that crescent moon. Next, I grabbed my gold luster dust mixed with a little bit of food grade alcohol and painted that over all of the yellow fondant.
I added a teeny tiny little ball of blue, pink, and orange fondant into the center of that pink circle. And then for the crystal, I rolled out a ball of white fondant and just rolled it around in this almost empty container of silver disco dust that I had. And this was the final result guys. Thank you so much for watching. I was a massive Sailor Moon fan when I was a little kid. I can't remember every little detail so hopefully I didn't mess anything up. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for new videos every week.